and trembling isn't just something for the Old Testament. Fear and trembling isn't just something for people who aren't believers. Fear and trembling is something that you and I, as Christians, if you're a follower of Jesus Christ, fear and trembling is, should be a part of our experience when it comes to our relationship with God. In fact, what Paul is saying is he's saying in Philippians chapter 2, he's saying, when you think about spiritual maturity, the journey to becoming who God created you to be, the journey to becoming more like Christ in your life, that journey of sanctification, which is what Psalm 119 is all about, Paul says you can't do it without fear and trembling. In fact, if you're trying to do it without fear and trembling, if you don't know the experience of fear and trembling in your life, then you've got a stunted understanding of who God is and who you are. And listen, you've got a stunted maturity. If you are going to become the person that God created you to be, then fear and trembling is a necessary part of that process. Which begs the question, how do we experience the fear and trembling that we should in our lives? And, and here's the answer. You can't manufacture it. It's the result of other things. Fear and trembling is something that is produced from other things that you grow to know, understand, and believe. And that's really what we're going to be looking at this morning. As we look at David going through this psalm, we're seeing a progression, in essence, that's taking place and key pieces of that progression that we need to actually see in our own lives. If this fear and trembling, the right kind of fear and trembling, is going to be a part of our journey so that we continue to grow and mature in the way that we're supposed to.